It's so weird because like today we weren't going to vlog. I'm so glad we did because so much has happened. I know, it's like fate we're actually capturing this. Yeah. Oh, my I love you. Nana will be here very soon. Oh, I love you, Disc. Oh, Look at you. Good luck, Mom. Oh, love you. Look, this is what they need for a road trip. Monsters and parades. Where's Mummy going? To doctor. Doctor. And you're going to see the house? In this video, we have 24 hours to choose every single fitting from tiles to toilets for a massive renovation we are currently undertaking on our dream house at Bondi, Australia. We also tour some schools that some Norris nuts may be attending when we make this life-changing move. And there's another thing. We get an huh? unexpected phone call that might mean we will never even move to our dream house at Bondi. Instead, we might be moving to a whole new country. Now, so has got the list. So every time my parents leave home, they write a list for Nana so she knows exactly what we can and can't do. And remember this because something is going to play out later in the video. Aww. Nana, Justin's mum's looking after the kids and she's the best and she likes a list. So I wrote a list, so I don't care if she does or not. It says, please constantly check on the kids to make sure they are doing their work and not on the internet. <laughs> don't you dare, you leave that there for Nana. We're going now. We are all. Oh, hope the kids are behaving themselves. Are you okay? Charm. Charm. I got a secret. Charm, I got a charm. Charm, do you want to do something sneaky? Yeah. Do you want to break mama's rules? Yeah. Come on. Up here, before Nana comes. Mama and Papa, family vloggers. <laughs> Mama oh. and Papa the crappy nuts. I watched it the other day. Oh. Hi guys! Did you? It's the vloggers again, the family vloggers. If you haven't seen that video, check We're it out. bringing it back. But you've got like the POV, PO, what's it called? The POV? POV. The POV of what it's like to be a Norris nut. We have got a bunch of things to do and some involved in rolling Norris nuts in school. Ooh. That they have no idea that that's even with the any. Yeah, wow. See these? We're not doing them. <laughs> Let's make our own rules. Quick. Okay. okay, now I think the first thing you should write down is just like rules, and then you should just go make sure the house is clean. And well, don't do all the pair ones in a row, because then you'll think we just added yeah. to it. Clean the house. They're allowed to play Fortnite yeah. from 2 30 to 3 to 4 30. Yeah, because that sounds like a more apparently thing to say. At um, I mean, we're filming a game today as well. Oh, yeah, you're filming the game. We have made the imposter rules. We literally have 24 hours where we have to choose every finished product for the house. So we need to choose the tiles, the floor, the kitchens, everything. Crunch time. So that's what I thought would bring you. You could help us do it. And we're going to have to somehow like make sure the Norris nuts are in on all the decisions. So we'll be like sending photos to them and they'll have to try and approve different things. I don't know how the house is going to come I together. Know. This could be, you could witness our biggest mistake of our life. And then it's here. Um, we have a time. What time oh stamp is all written? It's all those Just because you like this and that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, when do I start? Well, there's a lot, lot of reading to do. Okay. Okay. So Nana didn't question anything about the imposter rules. I'm Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. Driving the puppet this morning, so. You're Chinese. <laughs> we forgot to film. We just got into like a 20 minute discussion about schools mm. and what we should do and stuff like that. I'd love to know what you think. Just tell us in the comments because we're kind of new to this, you know, as you know. We don't know much about school. I'll say that it's finished school. I don't know how to say it, but I feel a little tired. And I'm 43 now. If we do homeschool with the babies, by the time they finish school, like I'll probably be close to death. We're thinking to send the babies to school. Disco starts next year, so we have to hurry up and enroll them into school. Otherwise, we won't be able to get in. So lots of people are saying in Sydney, like everyone sends their kids to private schools. And like my dad, he was a school teacher and he was like so hardcore public. Like I went to the roughest high school. He taught me that that was good for me. And so it's kind of weird to think, oh, I don't know about, I don't know. I don't know. And we're just not really sure about like private schools versus public schools. Yeah, we know nothing. So we have to find out a lot. Anyway, stick with us today because we'll be fine out Kids are going to go for a walk now. Are you okay. excited, this girl? And Anna's taking them with me. Oh my gosh, it's going to be a bit of an unusual day, but I've got a doctor's appointment with, um, so that scar there is on that side. Um, I've got makeup on now, so you probably can't tell. 
or is it that one? This one didn't heal up as well as what they hoped. Um, see how that one's a lot better? You can't tell now because I've got makeup on. So they can pull it back and try not to make the scar as noticeable. So it's going to be a, a like proper operation though. But the problem is, like as you know, that's another um, skin cancer I just had, and I've had like this thing to try and burn it off. And if it is in fact a bad skin cancer, they're going to have to chop off half my nose. Yeah, that's so we don't know how that's going yet. And if they're gonna do that, well, what's the point of trying to fix this scar? Because my whole face would be scars. Does that make sense? So anyway, I'm gonna see a doctor about that. Disco is all ready for the park. Look at these two birds fighting. Like us. Just got an email and I'm worried about this. So have a look. What's your opinion here? But then I had a better idea how I could show you the plans more clearly. And I am that plan. When you're editing this, can you just put the plan up here? All done, Mum! So right now the shower's over the bath, but if we take more of that room, um, then we can have a bath and a shower in the upstairs kids' bathroom. But I don't know if whoever owns that room will be happy with that decision and they would prefer just a shower of the bath. Does that make sense? What should we do? All these decisions we're going to have to sign today, so many! Okay, so Justin's just about to take an important phone call. I don't know, what about this and today? Represent. <laughs> I didn't forget. So the phone call was meant to be at 9 and something's happened with it. It's now 9.17. It's a time zone thing. So I don't know. So that's a right. clue what the phone call is about and Papa's representing our whole family. It's another clue. So I don't know what we're going to do yet, but there could be some big things happening, but maybe not. It depends on the phone call. Wow. So do you want the top secret <sighs> info? I don't think we can tell you everything. I'm so sorry, but we had to edit this part out because we're not 100% sure that this is going to happen. But hopefully this next part still makes sense. And you can kind of work out what's happening, but without us saying what's happening. Um, I would say it's like this. It's like, we're just like this family of eight from Australia, just from Newcastle, like a small town. And we're going to go to like, there's all these events and stuff like that. Like, it'd be really cool. Obviously, it'd be so exciting. We'll just take you along with us. Like but the problem would be that like, we don't know where to go. We don't know how we're going to edit our stuff. Either we need someone to stuff like computers. We need a house. We need, um, like, how do the kids make friends over there? There's just so much happening behind the scenes, and we're not really sure how much we can tell you. But 2023 might end up being an even bigger year than it already like is for us anyway. If that makes sense. So like, I, I just don't really know what our future is to tell you the truth. But it's going to be pretty epic. My head is already spinning with the conversation on the phone and just that email trying to work out all the rooms and stuff. So much to decide. How are we going to pull this off, Pup? Oh, I'm in a daze. Love you. It's exciting. It's like a new start, but then are we going to have another start after this start? For those of you who are new to our channel, maybe you've just forgotten, I'm trying to let you know what's going on without actually saying anything. But I want to roll this footage back of what our plans were pre-lockdown just to kind of... Okay, I'll roll it. So what's happened is a potentially life changing opportunity has just been presented to us. Just for the record though, I didn't say that the exact same thing's gonna happen. I'm just trying to say what I can without saying everything, if that makes sense. Like we thought Sydney was enough. And it might be. Maybe we should just stay in Sydney. I like know. we're not even talk I don't know. Maybe we're moving to I don't know. Is that now a good idea? We're gonna tell Socky that my god. Whoever's editing this don't say anything. I don't say don't tell Socky because I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, Where are we going here? Um tiles. So. Tiles! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Because you know the moment we've got like the green small tiles? They have them in this beautiful pink colour. I've never seen this side of Sydney. Is there many beaches in um, near Hollywood? Can uh, the kids I think surf? So. Yeah, they can surf. Where I mean, would they like surf? Then? Huntington here and stuff like that, right? Oh, really? All right. Can you see the Norris up surfing there, or do you think they're suited to Bondi? Or well, Malibu. You could go, like, is that, that's cool, isn't it? Is know. Malibu near. But his song's about Malibu, you know? Maruba. Maruba. No, that's like, Coco Bay. You know, um, Miley Cyrus, right? Malibu, yeah. Oh, this is you. It's so weird because, like, today we weren't going to vlog. I'm so glad we did because so much has happened. I know, it's like fate we're actually capturing this. Yeah. I'm glad you're here and okay. helping us make these I feel decisions. Like something more is going to happen today. Hopefully, it's a good thing. And Naz, are you ready? Okay, Naz, we're letting Shad slab. Sweet! Oh! I just really can't wait to show you the Bondi house and all the changes that have happened. Like, I'm so excited. That's what I'm most excited for about this. I want to see it now. Yeah, we're nearly, we're nearly there. Yeah, this is the tile house. shop. So look at this. We could do a bathroom like that in that tile. Oh, is it a bit too like I'm a beach person? No. Do you reckon? I don't know. I love this bathroom. What if we did that 
in this white. As weird YouTube people, we always have to try and like work out how all the tiles are going to look on camera. Mama and Papa on the Krabby Nuts. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Today we're doing bathroom tile shopping. And it looks good. I feel like that could work, right? Well, what about this green one? This one looks sick too. Are we just doing the same as what we've already got? Let's do the yeah. same Norris Nut standard. It works. We love what we have. Are we boring doing the same thing again? These oh, are wow. the colors. <laughs> Oh wow, they're so cool. Do you think this is too much? Say if we've got three bathrooms, right? We've got the two ensuite in the main bathroom if we did them all in different colors. So I'm thinking we could do ours in that. Upstairs, main bathroom in that, and then Biggie's, or well, actually it's not even Biggie's ensuite, Socky's ensuite, or whoever gets ensuite in one of like those two blue colors. What do you mm. think? Now you know us so well. Do you think we're making a bit of a mistake? Like it's like too many colors and too many bathrooms, like we're gonna regret this decision? Or do you think, yes, go big, go bold. What do you reckon we should do? Right now, fingers crossed that they can get these tiles in time. If they can't, this is my second option. I shouldn't say my, I should say ours, sorry. This is our second option. Of course it's ours. <laughs> okay. Would be those colors, we're not sure which one. Which color do you think would look best behind, like when we're vlogging and stuff? The things we have to think it's of, tricky, hey? hey? What color do you reckon? We could go. <laughs> Why not put that behind? Oh my God, it could work. I don't know who's gonna get the ensuite. But that person has to pick the tile. So I think they should pick the main bathroom tile because she'll be in it the most. <laughs> okay. okay. So Biggie and me are going to pick these tiles for mm -hmm. the ensuite bathroom in one of the bedrooms because we don't know who's going to get. So how about this look? No. No, in this one. No. Pink? No, do not. I want pink. Yes. Okay. Yes. So Biggie's on this one. Red. Yellow. Might be cool. Oh, this one might be nice. Did it. Send it through. Are coming in. Naz has chose purple. Socky has Boom. purple bathroom. Sorry, whoever's editing this, I've got to be of a job for you. I got you, mama. Okay, so can you put the tiles behind me that Naz chose? And then the ones that Socky chose? And then Biggie's. I feel like Biggie's is a little too dark. Socky's is, I don't know. Naz's is quite all right, like purple. It's a bit weird, we're a bit stuck. We can't get out. Oh no. Okay, I am totally a mess right now. I've got no makeup on, and my hair's not done, I'm in a terrible outfit, and I need to get ready to go out for dinner really soon. Um, we're gonna go and do that now. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is put heatless curls in. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spray this in. It's just been all very annoying. Yeah, I've had a really bad headache. My finger has been so sore. And I feel like I've been very unproductive. I am very excited for dinner, so hopefully we can turn the day around. I feel like, why are you curling your hair like that? You know, like, it's kind of, for me, I feel like it might be a big waste of time because just, like, straight hair is cool, you know, too. So you don't need curly hair. And now we're going to give it, like, some sort of hairspray. Where to next, honey? Uh, floors? You can choose any floor you want. Okay decision time you need to help so we're thinking this width floor so that's my foot on it and that's how wide it is but this color over here how does that look on camera it's like nice and light hey you're the feel expert do you like the feel of them I need to, like do you want me to take my shoes off i feel like I need to if you want to. <laughs> i'm sure people have done that before i feel like it's normal right <laughs> just don't start licking the floor that's probably like where you should stop yeah that feels better with the shoes off does it yeah. Take, you should take your shoes off. <laughs> I'll leave that to you. I trust you. <laughs> I think I'm going to be wearing this. I haven't really worked out what shoes yet, but this looks kind of cute. Okay, here it is. I'm not really a fan. Great. We have like five more minutes. This is the outfit. Let me get my hair and do my makeup. Okay, coming. The gloss. Coming. I'm gonna act like I'm right now running down the stairs. Let's go get my bag! I'll be in a second. Done. That was like... Okay, it looks like my hair can't fall. Yeah, I'm getting out the door now. I'm just gonna get my bag. I look like an absolute mess right now, but I have my cardigan in case it gets cold. I'm going out my grandma. I don't really want to show us too much skin. Do you know how you can tell that I'm getting hungry? I just make decisions like this because I just want to have it done. Floorboards were more Justin's things. Mm -hmm. So he picked those and he yeah. really took that decision seriously. Mm -hmm. He ended up like on the floor, but we didn't put that here. 
anyway, now it's kitchen appliances. And Justin really likes fridges. I don't know if you know that about him, but he's pretty particular about how the fridge is stacked and what type of fridge he gets. This is like a big moment for him. One thing I want to explain is like, I hate when people use cereal from the cereal boxes and they don't fill up the containers that you keep cereal in. Do you ever Very made a fender? Oh, the nice ones. Big is. Oh, you're this is Justin's happy so excited. It's my favorite tap. It's got like um, cold water, sparkling water, boiling hot, boiling hot and hot. Wow. I'm gonna get tea straight away. Just sparkling water straight away. It's, it's very good. I'm not sure if you know, but Biggie does all the dishes in our house. And he wants a tap that he can like pull out. Yeah. So, so I'm a little worried. Justin's falling in love with the tap, but is it too big? No, I like. It. Oh, we should we get one of those fancy toilets? Oh my god, that's what we wanted. A rocket ship. Yeah, cool, yeah. Sweet. Thank you. I'm sure toilet. You're one of those ones that spray and stuff. <laughs> I can't believe Justin really wants an expensive toilet. Are you like going to get it? use a toilet all the time. It's like, it makes sense. I don't mind what you think. As long as you're happy. As long as you're happy. Yeah, that's why I need to hide from the Norris nuts and the whole family. I need to hide on the toilet with my phone and just escape. Does anyone else do that? Any other dads? I don't know. If you want a toilet that wipes your butt for you, I think you should buy it. No, I don't really use that. No, I'm just going to get a normal toilet. But just you never ever spend any money on anything. No, I don't need a toilet. Do you want to steal one of the toilets just to make sure? No. What's the cheapest nice toilet you Let's can say get? Let's start from 5000 is it warm? It's warm. Okay, that's good. It's like, it's a little bit super weird, right? <laughs> so the toilet's normally very like intimate space, like just you and the toilet. That's what, but now we're in a big showroom with people just like, observing me on the toilet. Are you going to sit on the toilet? <laughs> just. Do you got to feel, do you gotta feel how it is? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, it feels good. It feels warm. So it's one o'clock. We have missed breakfast and now lunch and people are cooking. Can you see that? It's kind of torturing me. Yeah. I feel like I can see other people who have been like allowed to eat the food that they've cooked, but we haven't been selected. Maybe if we just hang around where they're cooking, that's what we're worried about. That's all we do. And they might feel sorry for us. Give us a cupcake. <laughs> Turns out the Norris Nuts tactic worked. What toilet did we get? Oh, the toilet. That is the big news. We actually had a big toilet. Justin. Spend the kids' inheritance on the dunny. We picked every single appliance off our list in less than an hour. Yeah. Dick. <laughs> I'm the most excited though to look at the house. I just like to go in there and like visualize how it's all going to come together and see how much it's changed since last time we had seen it. Now I've got the doctor's appointment to see. I can't even. It's that scar. Yeah. That scar's a lot worse. Hey. Yeah. It's that scar. See, that scar just disappeared, but this one, not so much. But anyway, so we're going to see what we can do about. That scar. Hopefully they can fix it for you. Yeah, they probably can't, but you never know. Oh, Nana just sent a photo of Disco and Charmy. She's doing a good job looking after them. We just went and looked at a school and got a bit more school information. We'll tell you about that soon, but we stopped to get a little snack. Okay, you're dirty, sorry. We dropped some eggs on you. But it is time for the doctor's appointment. And we've had so much to tell you about the school stuff. Oh my gosh, I've got a headache. <sighs> so. So much has happened. I know, I don't even know where to start. We need help with the school decision. Yeah. That's all we need. Do you think Disco and Charm should go to school or do you reckon they should be homeschooled like the others? Am I a bad mother for thinking they should go to school? <laughs> Just let me know that. And like, if I'm a bad mother, you just tell me about it. So I feel guilty at the moment. <laughs> yeah, they can do something to help um, fix that. Anyway. Don't draw your attention to it. That's all right. And we gotta hope that the skin cancer here is gonna be okay. But that's not the point. Just some form. He's got the good old shopping bags as his luggage. So we are here in Sydney, just showing you around. And we have to here. show you this: the Sydney Opera House, Harbour Bridge, Luna Park. Can you see that across yes, the? Yes, I remember the roller coaster there. And the... oh, this is so nice. This is so romantic. <laughs> Normally it's us screaming at the Norris Nuts, okay? So we completely understand. Yeah, but we're away without the kids and listen to this. Non-stop for like an hour. And we're just trying to have a nice relaxing time with the view. <laughs> and like, you know, I understand the mum. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with it, no but... No judgement here, of No, no judgement, but... Why not without the kids? I can hear kids screaming. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we always do when we're away from the kids. We think, oh, we're going to do all this stuff. And all we end up wanting to do is this. And, and do nothing. No, my shoes aren't on it. Bro, you made it so dirty. 
Really? Then you got on. Yeah. Can you say that legend? Do you know what turns me on so much about you? What? When you worry about mess. I love it because then I'm not the only one who does. Oh my gosh, it actually is. Whoa, ho, ho. Come and give me a look at that outfit. It looks great. Look at you. You look so pretty. I love you. Can't believe that's my wife. Do you want to come to dinner? Or do you want to stay here and have a sleep? I think like, you want room service and like yeah. a pizza or something like that. I so think gonna, that's what we should do. I'll put you over here. So you can just lie here, check out the view, and we'll order some room service like pizza chips. Okay, we're going out for dinner, and these two are arguing. You're arguing too. I'm not arguing. How do you reckon Mama and Papa are going to the house? It's terrible. We love positive news. <laughs> Naz, what did you get though, as well? You see all the kids cheese frisbees? Great. Very mature. Steel dip blows up. Nazi's mixing a potion for all of us. Oh, man, you a fork. Best man I've ever seen. <laughs> Imagine going to the party, getting your own fork, and then eating the sauce. Sabers came dressed very full. <laughs> Looks good. Sabers, you missed out on the two cheesy dips. Yeah. What, what do you mean? Did you, did you get it away? So I got a tequila, an enchilada, and a taco and rice. We are on our way home. There's the gang. Okay, it's kind of cold outside. I need to make this up piece for mum before she comes. And I feel kind of artsy, I guess, now. So I am planning on surprising mom with the most amazing artwork when she comes home. Also, I made a Nessa's Nails menu because I always do my nails. And Sabah, since she always loves me doing her nails, but I never wants to follow the rules, I decided to make this menu so she would have some gadgets. And if she doesn't book it in two days in advance, what? telling me what time she wants to do it, and all the colors and all that so I can get ready. Then just pay for it out of real money. So I'm just trying to like bring together all my thoughts to make sure that when we go to the meeting today with you about the house that everything's all set up. And I wanted to know, is this stupid? Should all the kids have like a sliding door on their bedrooms or should they have like a normal door? But like normal doors always break for some reason in our house. I don't know what the kids do to them. Or is it bad to have a sliding door? Does that make you feel like it's not as much privacy? What do you think? What are you filming? Nice oh, conversation. <laughs> Shot. Yeah, that's what I feel. I feel like I feel like if we we'll sort it all out. Yeah, turn off the pump. Okay. Excited? Um, excited, but I'm just, it's so busy driving. <laughs> okay, this is the part that I've been most excited for. I don't know about you, but we get to see where the house is up to and like make the final changes and all stuff like that. And I also want to show you the plans because um we're going to get a pool. And it's like an above ground pool, but somehow, like, it, I don't know. I have to show you photos of it so then you understand what I mean. But anyway, so we're going to go make all important decisions and show you all about that. Farah, every time we come here, I just always think, I can't believe we're going to move here. Like, Bondi, I can see the sand over there. I wonder what that road's going to feel like not exciting. Yeah, just like home, just like every day. Because every time we drive down at the moment, it gives me butterflies of, like, what's to come. It's not even a warm day. I've got, like, boots on, jumper, and look at all the people using the beach. How cool is that? And I'm at home working as hard as I can to finish a really special painting of our family for mum. Our line is done. I went for a galaxy theme. <laughs> now it is time for a black outline. We have just been about a wow. three hour meeting yeah. and we have sorted out so much. And I don't want to show you too much because I want to wait for the kids to be here, but I'm going to show you this that everyone's going to be so excited about. Ava's room was turned into a laundry because she said she was going to move out, but now she wants to have a bed here, but she doesn't even know how long she's going to stay here because she thinks she's going to get an apartment. So we need like a little temporary solution kind of thing. I'm not sure if you remembered the vlog, but where Soki was saying how she really didn't want to say but walking through her room to get to the little attic space. Fair enough, though. Soki wouldn't want me to like live there. Yeah, but how long do you want to be at home for? But then we put a timer on Saber, that's yeah. also really mean, yeah. and just like you can just make bad choices. <laughs> 
Now we have a solution. I don't know whose room is whose, okay? But I'm guessing this will be the baby's no, room. Yeah, Disco and Charm can sleep here. And that way, if there was a door there, then Disco and Charm won't care if they walks through their room to get to this space. And there's enough room in this little attic for a bed. A bed like this really cool little nook. You yeah. know, so and we could like make it all purple, like lights. carpet and everything, lights. I'm anyway, so excited about that. What else do you want to see? Everything. So that will be the end of the building. So we're going to pick up heaps more space in the living room. And we were thinking about a foosball table here or maybe a pool table. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hang on I could off. be telling the Norris nuts it's time for dinner because I could be able to oh, see really? them Yeah, so I'll be like this. Dinner time. That's so cool. Oh, and that more good news that we worked out. So see how like that's where the ceiling height was. It used to be like lower. And now we can go like up into this space. So it's going to look so much better. So excited. So excited. It's crazy. Like a really cool staircase here too and a picture. Just yeah. There. I was thinking like a big Ken picture of like Australia. No, I like this picture. Yeah, the Norris Nuts can be so happy coming yeah. show Or even like one of like Naz's or Saber's pictures. Yeah. Anyway, that's cool. Oh my gosh, the results are so good. Okay, are you ready to see it? Da da, it's so cute. Mom's here. Ah! Hello. I love you. Everywhere's so clean, you can look in the garage and everywhere. Does look, look clean? Three, two, wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, so when you taste the boy that Socky threw, oh. you and Papa and Chum under you because she's the last kid. Mm. Biggie, the boys together. Oh, I see. And then me and Sabre and Socky. Your art is so good. Thank you. I'm so glad we're home. We're I know. So nice. You feel better? Yeah. yeah. Oh. 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 